Hello, Leo. It's Erica here to do your love story reading. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Or if you have a lot of Leo or fire in your chart, this may resonate. And um, I do recommend going to check out my playlists in addition to watching these videos because um, the playlist specific to Venus and Mars transits, because this is a timeless reading. This is something that is not date specific, and it's either going to resonate or not. And it could be something you've experienced before, it could be something you're experiencing now, or you might be experiencing it in the future. So I do recommend checking out the Venus and Mars transits along with recent videos of mine whenever you're watching this, doesn't matter when I've recorded it, uh, because you might actually, that it'll give you more information about understanding this individual reading even more because it'll understand what's going on in the cosmos that will be affecting this reading. So it's just going to give you more information and allow you to have a greater understanding of what you're facing in your life. So with that, um, obviously it's general, won't resonate for everybody. Do not make it fit. Do go check out the other videos that make up the major placements within your natal chart. They can often resonate even more than your sun sign. And cross watchers, you can feel free to switch the scenario around however it fits. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to pull nine cards. You're getting the balance card. I'm going to pull the rest here. So we have the balance card. We have the three of cups. We have the six of swords. Followed by the eight of wands followed by the Seven of Wands, followed by the Emperor, followed by the Three of Wands, the Death card, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so what we have here, your energy, the other person's energy, the dynamic between you, or vice versa, recent past, current energy, what is coming in. So you, there's a situation here where you've been very patient. You've been integrating a lot of spiritual lessons. And it looks like that whoever you're re watching this reading for that you're thinking of, it does look like they have moved on from a certain situation that you, is making you very happy to hear. Maybe whether you know this or not, it's almost like you can feel it. You can feel the universe aligning that now might be the timing coming in. Because now it looks like this person is free free from whatever was burdening them before, whatever they were going through, whoever they were with, whatever circumstances were going on, they're moving on from the past. And it's a very positive thing here um, with this Three of Cups, which is rejoice in celebration, which is the energy between you. And we do have here some um, communication. There is someone taking charge of their life. They're standing their ground for what they really want. Um, and we have this transformation coming in between the two of you where this is something that you've been waiting for when it comes to this partnership. You've been patient. You've been doing your own thing. You've been balanced in your life. And it does look like this person could be communicating that they are no longer conflicted about whatever is was possibly going on between you two. So let's get some more cards here. Why is the balance card here, the temperance card here? See, you've stood your ground. You have not given up on something and you've been very patient while things have been moving on, uh, kind of transforming around you. And why does this person have the moving on card? What are they moving on from? See, you, they may be communicating some news or recently having communicated some news that they've moved on or they're embarking on a new journey. Whether you've heard of it or not, this is embarking on new journey. This is about taking new steps. This is about starting a new endeavor. And why is the three of cups here between you guys in the recent past? See the sun card. What's happening here in the recent past, whether you're aware of it or not, I keep wanting to say that. Just because you don't know about it doesn't mean that it's not happening. The energy between you is extremely positive with this person moving on and you having stood your ground, Leo. So let's get some more here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Wow. 
accelerated motion in this deck, it's called. So things happening quickly after a long time of waiting. Um, there's victory here too. So you're getting waiting patiently, becoming enlightened, waiting, being stuck, waiting. And all of a sudden things are going to start happening. Uh, things are going to start happening. They could happen kind of quickly. Looks like this person's ready to take the lead in their life. Although they may come across as a little bit cold to you at first, a little intimidating. Why do they have the emperor? Yeah, so they may need a little time to heal from this change that they've made in their life. Um, and they may be a little bit pulled back on their energy, but they do, it does feel like they're focused on their healing here. So, um, maybe you'll hear about this person doing whatever, maybe that they've moved on and, and it, whether you hear about it or not, it does feel like they're having you still stand your ground, but there's things that are picking up that whether you see them or not, there are, there's accelerated motion happening here in your world. And you might see a sign that something's going on like a synchronicity or a sign, but you may not see physical evidence of it yet because this person still might be holding their energy back. Tell me why the stand your ground is in the dynamic. Yeah, while you're waiting for the manifestation, stay strong, okay? So you may have recently, again, this person's recently likely moved on from something. They're healing right now. They're taking some time on their own. They're taking the lead in their life. They're taking charge of that. And um, in the meantime, you're starting to see more and more signs that you're going to be victorious here, Leo. You're standing your ground, and here is the manifestation along with what you've been, what you've been waiting for this manifestation. So you're still, it feels like in the current energy, you're still waiting on the manifestation, but you can feel it coming. Tell me why you have the Three of Wands here. And we have the Five of Wands and the Emperor. Again, you've been waiting for the Emperor, this Emperor over here, whether it's a masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. You've been waiting for this person to get out of being conflicted about your partnership and alliance. It's what you've been waiting for. And why do they have the mental conflict here? This to me is that they're done. This feels like they're done. They're no longer indecided. They're, they're no longer undecided. And to me, this is about breaking out of a stalemate where they let their head get in the way. Why do they have this too? See, because they want this Ace of Cups. Like I said, they're no longer undecided. They are opened up. They've opened up their heart to you. They want this new start with you in this relationship. And why is the transformation card here? Because of the regrets of the past. The past is the past. The sadness of the past is gone and it's time to replace it with this hope and wishes. So the transformation that's coming in might take a little time. It doesn't, it may not happen like overnight, quickly, like lightning bolts. It may happen over time, but you're going to get there. You're going to transform the, the relationship dynamic between you guys out of sadness learning some lessons, allowing things to unfold, and it's going to turn into Nine of Cups energy. Wow. Let me get some more here. Recent past. Communication is key, followed by the current energy. You're close to achieving your goal. See, this is why they're having to stand your ground right in the middle here because you're almost there, Leo. You're almost there, and what's coming in? is um, looking at the bigger picture. This is about understanding something from higher consciousness, and it's the full moon energy, which is the completion energy of a cycle of looking at things differently. This person has discovered some things that um, are specific to you, and you're transforming the relationship to, to have the relationship from higher consciousness now. So if you've been with this person in the past or not, um, you're both going to be learning how to navigate relationships through a higher consciousness energy. Let's see your energy here. 
of what's coming in. The fiery climax approaches here. See, this is about starting a new cycle. It's about to begin. You've been building to this new beginning for so long. And for this person, they're getting nothing will come of this situation, which means there's nothing to worry. This is what they've overcome, and a new romantic cycle begins. See? This is the mental conflict that they overcame. So this card is clarifying this one, and the new romantic cycle begins, clarifies this Ace of Cups. So for this person, yep, they are ready to give in a balanced situation. Let's see where they were in the past. They're, yeah, they're eclipsing something out of their lives. Something has very much changed dr dramatically for this person. And let's see um, your energy over here in the past. See, this is meditating and contemplating. You, you being very much understanding the romantic connection between the two of you. And in the current energy, their energy. And your energy. Hold your vision. And adjustments are required. See? So this is about being flexible, knowing that things like needing to adjust, needing to adjust the plans. To me, I feel like this should have been reversed. I actually was going to pull this first. But either way, you're almost there. And then here it is. A new romantic cycle beginning. A brand new opportunity here. You've been waiting for this emperor to get out of this conflicted energy. So with that, Leo, stay strong. Stay, stay true to your knowing. Stay true to your intuition. Let's get a final guidance card for you for this love story, for where it's at right now. What is the best guidance for Leos that this is resonating for? And your beloved... This is your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship and believe you are lovable. And as if I need to say any more, Leo, what a beautiful, beautiful reading. All right, lovely friends. I hope that was helpful. Do go check out the other signs. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.